Welcome to our deep dive into the multifaceted world of price sensitivity effects. Today, we're going to unravel the complexities behind why certain price points resonate with consumers, while others don't. Price sensitivity isn't just about the absolute cost of a product. It's a nuanced interplay of various effects that influence a consumer's perception of value and their willingness to part with their money, especially their hard-earned money, which is always the case. Let's start with the reference price effect. This is the phenomenon where consumers have an internal benchmark of reference price for a product based on the past experience they have or external hints. When an actual price is lower than their reference, it's perceived as a deal. And when it's higher, it may seem to be overpriced. A classical example is the Black Friday sales. Retailers may mark up prices before the sale only to discount them later. This discounted price becomes attractive even if it's close to the original price. Because consumers actually compare it to the inflated pre-sale price. Next, we have the difficult comparison effect. This occurs when products are so unique or have such varied features that consumers find it challenging to compare them based on price alone. In such cases, other factors like brand reputation, reviews, or perceived quality come into play. Consider Apple's products, their unique design and ecosystem, which makes price comparison with other brands very, very challenging. As a result, many consumers are willing to pay a premium for what they perceive as unparalleled value, greater value. Then there is the switching cost effect. This is the perceived cost, whether monetary, time, or effort, that a consumer might incur when switching from one product or service to another. Brands that can create high switching costs can often command higher prices. A prime example is software platforms or subscription services. Once users are deeply integrated into one platform, the hassle of migrating data, learning a new interface, or the fear of losing features can deter them from switching, even if a cheaper alternative actually exists. These effects, among others, play a critical role in shaping a consumer's perception of price and value. Brands that master the art of navigating these intricacies can position their products effectively, creating a loyal customer base willing to pay the price they set. So what can businesses take away from this? First, understanding your customer's reference price point can help you set a price that's perceived as fair or even a bargain. Second, if you have a unique product, highlight its distinct features to capitalize on the difficult comparison effect. And lastly, create value that goes beyond the product itself, making the switching cost high in the minds of your consumers. In conclusion, the world of price sensitivity is a rich tapestry of psychological effects, consumer behaviors, and strategic brand positioning. As businesses, diving deep into these effects and tailoring your pricing strategy accordingly can be the key to long-term success and customer loyalty. The next time you set a price or evaluate a product's cost, remember these effects. They might be just the difference between a sale and a missed opportunity. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, click the like button or consider subscribing to the channel. There will be more educational videos coming soon, so it would be very nice to have you around. Until next time, peace out.